So before getting into the unboxing, I thought I'd just give you a brief of the benefits and features of this toy. Uh, we purchased it from Amazon, I'll put a link below. It was $29.99 and we bought it as Mir's latest toy. So, like I said, I'll have a quick go through some of the advantages and I'll just point these out from the box. They, VTech have put it for between one to five years. Mir is currently 16 months of filming this video. Uh, on the back, there's a lot of the features that it brings. So, it's very good for motor skills. And it says that it's got the lift, a spanner, spinning gears, a gate, and a car wash. A great thing about these, something that we really, really liked, was you can expand it. So... I've seen that they do train stations and airports and I think you can even make this bigger. So if it's something that Mia likes, which hopefully she will, you can look at expanding it and making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, there is also to point out a car on the front, which was great because silly daddy here completely forgot to order a car. Uh, but fortunately it has come with one. So these are some of the benefits. Uh, on the back, actually, there is a, there's an amusement park and there's a fire station as well. So yeah, these are some of the benefits. It's looking good. It's looking fun. We like the toys that we bought from VTech before. So hopefully this will be a good one. And let's get into that unboxing, shall we? So I've already removed the cellar tape. Uh, one on each side and one at the top. You do not want to see me fumbling around with sellotape. It's embarrassing. We'll be here all day. So, sellotape's gone. But let's get into the unboxing. So, standard. Put it open. It always gets exciting, this bit does for me. Uh, there we go. Let's have a look what we've got. So, the car is... Uh, looks like it's stuck in, so... Out. They're clipped in car, clipped in the bottom. So, oh, there it goes, it's off already. <laughs> oh. Here we go. One tow truck. It's not a car, it's a tow truck, my apologies. What else have we got in the box of treats? Okay. Lots of different pieces for the garage. Pieces, pieces. Small pieces. And that tow truck keeps going off. Uh, well, actually, we might as well now try and have a look see if there's on an off button. And there is, fortunately. So. That's off. <laughs> uh, small pieces, really. More part of the box. We go more towards the main bits. Ah, they look like stickers and instructions. Definitely need them. Uh, is this looks like it might be part of the lift, but I will double check that. Right, up and down. We'll see it all when it's built together. Uh, that is part of the car park as you come down, as it spirals down. Another piece. Looks like there's been more building here than what I thought. Uh oh. More part of the car park as it comes down in the spiral. That's the spanner bit they mentioned on the back. So that's good for the motor skills. So we got down here. More bag of parts and pieces. And lastly. Looks like the base. Okay. Move out the box out of the way. Everything out. Yes, everything out. All good. All groovy. 
So, this is all pots. As I said, just pulling them out for you. I'm going to have some fun now, build it all together, and I will see you on the other side. Hey YouTube, so here we are, all installed. Um, opinions on the install, very simple, very straightforward, instructions were very good. Uh, what you have to do first is put the sticky labels on, there is a lot of those, so you have to try and be accurate about a, where you put them, and B, how accurately you put them on, but it was very, very straightforward. And the install, it was uh, it was a dream for me because I didn't have to do any screwing at all. Everything was just push in place, uh, push and click, push and click, push and click. So, yeah, very, very straightforward. Um, one thing to do first, a bit of advice, is put the batteries in. The truck has come with batteries, the garage itself hasn't so do your batteries first then do your stickers then do your install so yeah uh relatively straightforward and what we'll do now is we'll have a bit, bit of a look around and some of the features of it okay youtube i'm gonna uh show you some of these features now i'll apologize in advance because as i'm showing you they will all be going off so it's gonna be rather noisy but um it's for the children. <laughs> so anyway, you've got your truck, which makes communication noises, sounds, and you've got the garage itself. So I'm gonna act like a very big kid now, and I'm gonna play with this truck, and I'm gonna play with this garage, and hopefully you see some of the uh, the features and benefits. Um, so little things like this, so a little gate that opens and closes. So your truck can come on drives round as you can see it's making noises and comes in round the garage uh, you've got a lift here which I'll just push down so you got the lift they're all going off <laughs> let's turn that one down a little bit shall we uh, so you've got a lift truck goes up the lift and this is quite clever actually because as it's going up the truck's facing that way it will spin and pull itself off like that so up the top, <laughs> you've got different bits of interaction. So you can turn and park into here or the next bay. You've got these lights here, which as you can just say, said press the green button. So we'll press the green button. And you've got a little tunes and stuff going off. If we pull them back out. And if we put it into that one, and if we press another button, Can you press the red button? so we go for red. red. So it's all good fun, lots of noises, lots of fun tunes, lots of talking. Hopefully, uh, help the baby with the communication or the toddler with the communication. On here, this is a helipad, so you can get separate accessories. So, this is a helipad. And you've got a bit of a mechanics bit here with turns. Uh, if you pull the car back out, or the truck back out, and you bring it to this bit here, it will go down the ramp. Whoa! And then it stops at the bottom. There's a little bit that stops. You can have a car wash, spin that, and then you can push, and boom, the truck comes out. And you've got lots of different things like that, lots of different features. Like I say, lots of different talking between the two, the vehicle and the garage. Uh, my favourite point being the lift. I love this lift, I think the lift's very clever. I'll show you again one more time. Car comes on, parks up, and you just lift it up, and up. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'd be a very good garage owner. <laughs> so that's it, that's it, that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell, really. I know it's only a quick review, but. Obviously, toddlers, etc. I'll just turn this off now. And turn this off. So, yeah, it's a very quick review. Um, there's not relatively that much to show from an adult's point of view. However, from a toddler's point of view, knowing having Mia, who's now 16 months, she will find tons of interactivity. She'll enjoy everything from spinning this, from lifting the gate, from touching this, 
compressing these, talking to her, the up and down, the lifting, and then this car will be shooting off any which way but loose across the living room, and no doubt we'll end up having to buy some more. Which brings me on to the next point actually. Within the box itself, there was a little pamphlet, and it gives you an indication of some of the other bits you can buy for extending the uh, garage which is quite cool uh, I think it's something we'll probably look at doing so we'll make this ex extend it make it bigger so you can get a uh, two two drivers twist and race tower that looks really good so that goes really high you've got the garage here which we've already seen a fire station a train set when one which does a 360 uh, loop which will be brilliant it'll be like being on the roller coaster and then you've got some other uh, little bits and bobs of everything else that they do as well. Um, cool little tracks and pirate ships and so on and so on and so on. So the beauty of this toy is not only do you get what you've got, what you've paid for, you can then buy the cars, you can then buy extensions to the garages, etc, etc, etc. So... If we were to give this a score myself for the price that we've paid, I would probably give it an eight and a half out of ten. However, it's not me that needs to be pleased. It is my daughter and she will be playing with this very soon. And I'm sure she will give us her opinion or give us her opinions, I should say. So that's it. That is the VTech Garage. Thank you very much for watching as usual. We have plenty of reviews on the channel of kids' toys, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out on any more. Obviously, any feedback on the video, questions, likes, always appreciate it. So anything you can do, really help the channel grow. We really do appreciate it. So thank you very much and see you on the next one.